We've recently been to a car boot sale and I've got loads, I picked up loads of different frames. And I want to try something that is going to be a little bit more abstract. But rather than abstract just the picture, I want to bring the abstract out into the frame as well. And the frame is already been painted once, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and then paint it black. I'm going to take this board out first and paint that black too. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, who knows. But if it works, then that's great. I'm loving doing abstracts, even though I'm not very good at them. Like I always say, I'm no artist, I'm just a crafter. And I'm going to use some acrylic paint to paint this frame in. And it's really warm here today in the UK, which is quite unusual. So I'm sure that this acrylic paint is going to dry quite quickly on here. And I want to have a black base to start with. I've got an idea, which is quite unusual, in my head of what I want this to look like when it's finished, or roughly what it wants to look like when it's finished. Now, the chances of that turning out looking like I've got in my head is almost zero, because they never do, but at least I've given me something to start with. This is dry now, and if any comes off, because it's only been about 15 minutes, then I'll just touch it up. But what I'm going to do, I should have done this before, before I painted it really, but just didn't think about it. I was thinking about afterwards, how am I gonna fix this into here? Because it obviously hasn't got its glass in. So what I'm going to do is glue this backing into this frame using some wood glue. Going all the way around. So warm in here though, this wood glue might dry before I even get the backing in. Then I know it's not gonna move about when I start to paint it. Because I do want it to be in its rightful place. I want it to move. And this isn't gonna take too long to dry because, well, like I say, it's so warm in here. It's probably too warm to even be doing this, but there we go. Make sure I put it around the right way. Pop that in there, like that, okay. And now I'm gonna put a weight on that to ensure that's held down correctly. And I'll let that dry probably for a couple of hours before I go ahead and do anything else with it. It's still lovely and dry and it's gone really firm in there as well. Exactly what I was looking for. Now I'm gonna start this off with a little bit of sponge work to give it a bit of texture. I'm using a natural sponge and some gold paint here. And, and what I'm gonna do is just go across it randomly like that. That's my first background color done. And now I'm gonna do this exactly the same, but this time with a bright yellow, or lemon yellow, I think this is called. I'm not washing the gold out. I don't think I need to. Keep building it up like this with different colours first before I do anything else. And now what I'm going to do is let that dry off before I put the next stage on. Well that's dry as I want it to be and now I'm going to start on with building up some of my other colours. And all I'm going to do is put them on like this and use a variety of brushes and knives to spread them about with. And I'm going over the actual frame as well here because that's really the look that I want to go for. Now I don't want this to get muddy in any way so what I'm going to do is any of the colours that I think will make a muddy finish I'm going to make sure the layer before is dry. So I think a red would go nice in that because I think that will give it or an orange actually because I think that will give it a nice feel and it's just about playing for me i have no skills whatsoever when it comes to abstract art although i am getting better i think so i'm happy now with my background and now i'm going to leave that to dry completely before i start to put my other colors on that's all nice and dry now and i can start putting on my other colors and i'm going to start with this deep cyan and I'm just putting this on in blocks where I think I want it. And I'm going to add a little bit of white in places to it as well because that way I can get a bit of tonal difference. That's what I love about abstracts. It's just about playing. It's just about having fun and enjoying your time and whatever you're doing. It's not like I'm trying to create a piece of art that's going to go into a gallery at the moment. I'm still learning and we can't learn if we live in fear of making mistakes or doing things that we don't like. I really want to try this so that's why I'm doing it and that's why I'm hoping to encourage everybody who watches my channel is really just to have a go. Don't deprive yourself because you're concerned that you're not going to create a masterpiece to start with. I don't think I've ever created a masterpiece <laughs> and I'm not sure I ever will and I'm okay with that. And I'm just sticking a bit of phthalo blue through this as well. And I'm now going to use a bit of burnt sienna on this. I have no idea what colour burnt sienna is, being colour blind, but I like the name. And then that background should come through that a little bit. And now I'm going to play around with a bit of white. While these colours are still as they are, which is a little bit damp. 
quite feel it's balanced. So I think I need to put a bit up there. Now I'm going to bring some orange through it in places. And I'm going to brighten it right up with some yellow. And now I'm going to put some crimson through here as well. Near that yellow and that orange, I think they look good together. I think that's that layer finished. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry now and then decide whether it needs anything else or whether I want to completely change it or what I think of it. Now, I really like that, but I think it's lacking something now it's dry. So I'm going to try something a little bit different for me. And I'm going to draw in here a silhouette of a lot of buildings and things like that. I've never done this before, so I don't know really. I suppose I ought to get an image or something. And I'm gonna do all different heights and sizes and things, going all the way around. I'm gonna use this black marker pen, because I am gonna do it in black anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I can see that, that's better. And then I'm gonna put windows all the way through it as well. So I'm gonna build that up in the same way as I've done here. I'm not sure if it's showing on the camera, but it will show up when I paint it black. Well, I've got all my buildings now put on them. I'm not sure if that's coming out, if you can actually see them, because it's black on black, but I want them to be quite neat, and I'm not a neat person, as you all know. So what I'm going to be doing is masking these off to be able to try and paint these as neat as possible. And I've also decided that I don't think I am going to have windows in it either because I don't think it needs them. Now they're all taped off, what I can do is go over and paint my lines in. Hopefully these are going to be a lot neater by doing it like this. And then once these ones are dry I can then move on to these ones. Well I've finished the ones in the foreground and now what I'm going to do is these ones in the midground and I'm going to do them in a grey and then I'm going to put some in the background in a real lighter grey using exactly the same technique. Masking off and then painting. Well this is all dry now and it's ready to have its varnish. I think it's going to really bring out the colours when it's varnished. The varnish I'm going to be using now is this decorator's varnish. Because someone sent it to me, thank you very much indeed. I do love it. And if you'd like to send me anything, then my PO box is always in the description below. Well, giving that a good shake, I'm now going to decant some into a little pot. And then whatever I don't use, I can just put back in that pot. Get a clean brush. And then go across that. The ideal thing is not to keep going over the same area when you're putting a varnish on because as it dries it becomes sticky and you don't want that stickiness to really make a mess of whatever it is you're doing. And I will give it two coats because I always have a miss. And the next coat I'll go up and down that way. Well this is all finished now, all nice and dry and varnished and I'm loving the way that's coming out. <laughs> Adding the skyline to it really has lifted this whole painting up. And that is what I had in my head that I wanted to do a skyline painting over it. I liked the picture beforehand, but now it feels like it's framed. I'm loving playing around with abstracts and things like that. I don't think they're popular videos, which is a shame, but it's good to be able to show people that there are struggles and we can struggle with our crafting, but not to give up and keep going. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to learn more about my journey with abstracts, then check out this video that's coming up next. Take care, enjoy your crafting. Bye.